Hi, welcome into another session of learning the possibilities with MagiCoder with the Mobile County Public School IT Department. In this episode, we're going to talk about what Wirecast is capable of and what you can do to enhance your broadcast. Starting things off in the opening screen, once you turn it on, you're going to simply click the prompt to bring in a password. Your password is simply, you guessed it, password. Now that we're into the main screen, we have a couple options up top. You probably have a folder for virtual sets, which we'll look at in another video. Today, we're just gonna simply go up here to Magic Coder. Double click, and let's let the program boot up. This is Wirecast. This is the program and the software that you're gonna be using to broadcast your morning announcements or other programs for your school. Let's start off with the layers. You have five options. Each layer has the capability of adding video and audio simultaneously. But in this scenario, we're gonna show you where you should properly place things. In the five layers, there's a rule called stacking. Stacking is where whatever you wanna show up in the front of your picture needs to be at its highest point. For instance, if you have a watermark, say your school logo or broadcast logo for your show, you probably want to put it at the top because it's always going to be on the screen. Audio is a non-visual item, so you probably want it on layer five. Let's take a look at how we're going to add those. If you come up to the plus sign on any layer, you'll notice that we have a number of options. Your first one is capture devices. You have two options right here, System Audio Capture and Intensity Pro 4K. In this case, we're just going to click Intensity Pro 4K. That is your camera. The magical thing about the Magicoder is if your item is not connected properly, it won't show up. We've now clicked into our camera. We are on the first line, and in this case, we probably want the camera to be on the third line. So if we hover over the title, you'll notice that there's a hand icon. Let's click and grab and drag down and release. It's as easy as that to move items around. In the five layers, we would encourage in your first line, we're going to put your watermark or logo. In your second one, is where you would put pictures and videos to cover the screen. Third is your camera. Or, if you have a virtual set, you may want to move it around between three and four. And that's where you would put your virtual set. And then five is where you're going to have your audio. In order to add audio, just like we did video, hit a plus sign, capture devices, and when you have your soundboard connected, you would select it. Same thing with a video or a picture. Plus sign, only this time we're going to go down to media file. This is where you can import pictures and files that it may be in your computer. And so if we take this picture right here, we've now put it into the program. Notice on the outsides, you have the ability to shrink down a picture or expand it. It's very flexible in the program to where you can do both. So if this was to be our watermark, we would simply set it right there. All right, now let's take a look at how we're gonna activate a new item. And what I mean by that is right now, we're looking at two screens. Your left side is your preview. Your right side is what's going out on the air. It's not necessarily live unless you click it live. So preview window on the left, what's going out on the air on the right. In order for an item to go, you have to hit spacebar. See how it appeared like that? Let's do it again. I'm gonna hit clear layer to take it away. You notice that the item left the left window. We're gonna hit spacebar 
and now it's gone on both. When you hit spacebar, whatever is on the left side will appear on the right side. So let's do it again. We're gonna click on the item that we want to show up. We're gonna hit spacebar. If we wanted it to go away, I'd hit clear layer and then hit spacebar. You're gonna do this whenever you're transitioning through the different pictures and videos of your broadcast. Let's talk about some other features. Up at the top, we see the options for stream and record. You can do both of these simultaneously. Ideally, when you hit record, you would have the option to record directly to your computer. Stream can go to things like YouTube, Facebook Live, and other features. To set those up properly, we go to Output at the top, Output Settings, and down here, we have the options for record to disk. If you don't have that option, simply go down to add, click the drop down menu, and select record to disk MP4. This will automatically go to your videos folder on your computer. And there's your streams. So, now we've learned how to add items, how to use the layers, how to stream, how to record, and how to transition. Stay tuned for more videos as we'll show you the more advanced ways how to improve your broadcast.